والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. Oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. Oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. And for the book, إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار Brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Ramadan Mubarak Al-Imam Muslim Rahimahullah compiled a hadith at the beginning of his Sahih. The hadith is narrated by Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu anhu who said Bainama nahnu julusan ma'an nabiyy sallallahu alayhi wa sallam while we were sitting with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam a man wearing white clothes, dark hair, no fatigue of travel appears on him. Meanwhile, we don't know him, approached us. And he sat in front of the Prophet wasallam, and he placed his knees in front of his knees. And he placed his hands on his thighs and he asked the Prophet wasallam those three questions. Ya Muhammad, sallallahu ala Muhammad, akhbirni an al-Islam. What is Islam? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, Islam, that you bear witness that there is no one worthy of your worship and obedience but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah. And that you establish the five daily prayers. You pay your zakah. You fast the month of Ramadan. And you perform hajj to the holy land in Mecca, the house of Allah in Mecca if you're able to physically and financially. The man said, Sadaqt, you spoke the truth. Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu said, we were amazed because he asked and at the same time he said you spoke the truth. Then he asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the second question, Ya Muhammad, akhbirni an al-Iman, what is faith? The Prophet ﷺ answered, Al-Iman, faith, that you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you believe in the angels, you believe in the books, you believe in the messengers, you believe in the hereafter, and you believe in fate, both good and bad. Again, the questioner said, you spoke the truth. And then, he asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the third question. Ya Muhammad, akhbirni anil ihsan. Tell me about ihsan. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, al-ihsan, an ta'abud allaha ka'annaka tarah. 
فإن لم تكن تراه فإنه يراك that you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as if you see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if you cannot accomplish this one the least that you can accomplish that you're aware that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees you all the time at the end of the hadith after the man departed Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu an stayed behind with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked Umar do you know who this man is? Umar radiyallahu an said Allah and his messenger know best the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said this is Jibreel he came to teach you your deen brothers and sisters in Islam those three Questions that Jibreel alayhi salam asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam constitute the whole religion. Islam, Iman, Ihsan. At the same time, they are levels. These names are levels. Islam is the startup. Someone who performs the salah the five daily prayers, pays the 2.5% of his net, provided that he owned it for a year. He fasts the month of Ramadan, he performs Hajj if he is able to, the basics, a Muslim. But there is another level up, which is the level of Iman, faith, which is the inner side of the religion that you actually believe in your heart Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala defined the believers in surah al-hujurat إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ ثُمَّ لَمْ يَرْتَابُوا Indeed the believers are those who believe in Allah and His messengers and then they never doubt and when the Bedouins came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they told him, Amanna, qalat al-a'rabu amanna. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informed the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to tell them that. Qul lam tu'minu. You have not achieved iman yet. Bal qulu aslamna. You just became Muslims. And when iman penetrates your hearts, then you can call yourselves believers. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the highest level of this deen is the third level, which is the level of Ihsan. This is the first day in Ramadan, a month that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants those who believe in Allah and His Messenger, a chance, a second chance. What is your plan for this month? Would you like just to continue being a Muslim? Or would you like to elevate yourself to the level of Iman? Or would you like to achieve and accomplish the highest level in this deen, which is the level of Ihsan. What is your goal, brothers and sisters in Islam, for this month, this year? You know, there are a lot of people who fasted the past Ramadan with us. Where are they now? They are under the ground, dead. You know what? This can be your last Ramadan. Why don't you plan to achieve the level of Ihsan in this month so that this Ramadan becomes your second chance? This series of episodes, insha'Allah, for that purpose. Every day, for 15 minutes, more or less, We're going to sit together and talk about that second chance. For you to know 
What do you mean by a second chance? The Prophet ﷺ classified, categorized the people who fast into two categories. One category, he said about them, and the hadith is recorded in the Mustadrak and Musnad al-Imam Ahmad, rahimahumullah, hadith Abi Huraira, radiyallahu an. The Prophet ﷺ said, رُبَّ صَائِمٍ لَيْسَ لَهُ مِنْ صِيَامِهِ إِلَّا الْجُوعُ وَالْعَطَشِ It may be a person who fasts Ramadan, and all that he gets from Ramadan is making himself thirsty and making himself hungry. Don't you dare be among that type. There is another type. The type that the Prophet ﷺ said about them, those who seize the opportunity, those who will fast Ramadan, iman and wahtisaba, out of faith and seeking the reward, those who will stand up in taraweeh at night, Again, believing in it and seeking the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or those who will observe in the last ten nights of Ramadan, the night of Al-Qadr. And again, if they stand in worship in this night, they can also get the reward. Listen to those three golden opportunities. Three golden opportunities, brothers and sisters, in Ramadan in this month. مَنْ صَامَ رَمَضَانَ إِيمَانًا وَاحْتِسَابًا غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِهِ Whoever fasts the month of Ramadan, out of belief, and seeking the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will forgive all his sins, the past. مَنْ قَامَ رَمَضَانَ إِيمَانًا وَاحْتِسَابًا غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِهِ Whoever stand in Salat al tarawih at night, the Salat that comes after Isha, out of faith, seeking the reward, he will get his sins forgiven. وَمَنْ قَامَ لَيْلَةَ الْقَدْرِ إِيمَانًا وَاحْتِسَابًا And whoever observes worship in the night of Al-Qadr, which comes at the last ten nights of Ramadan, again out of faith, and expecting the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will forgive all his sins. Brothers and sisters in Islam, this is the group that you want to be with. You don't want to be with the first one that only spends the time being hungry and being thirsty. You know why? Because Jibreel alayhi salam, Aminu sama, the trustworthy of the revelation, and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Aminu al-ard, the trustworthy of the revelation in earth made dua against that person. You want to know why? Don't miss the next episode. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. And for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the light. By your grace you sent us this Quran each day that we recite. And for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the light.